Wait till you see what I've got inside my flask. Hi, welcome back to The Shed. I'm Joe Bleeps and today we are taking a look at the flask. This tiny little device is made by a UK firm called Bloop Labs and it saves loads and loads of NFC ID tags on it, which is basically the information that you'll find inside things like these Amiibos. So rather than carry loads of these things around, you can have all the information stored in one tiny handy little device. I thought it was a great idea. So I had to buy one as soon as I found out about them and I want to tell you all about it. If you're watching this channel, you won't need me to explain to you what an Amiibo is. Basically a chunky Nintendo display toy that has a little NFC tag, a little wireless tag inside the base, which can interact with your consoles, such as the Nintendo Switch. And when that's in operation, you just hold it over the side of the console, the two connect, and it'll transmit a little bit of information. Usually a little bit of bonus stuff for a game, like an extra costume or some extra health or something like that. You view it from one way, it could be it adds bonus content to a game. You view it another and they release games with content withheld and you have to pay an extra £15 for a little toy to access it. I don't know, I'll leave that up to you. Taking a load of these around and about with you can be a little bit impractical. Also, they're quite expensive. If you're not interested in having them as a toy, as a display piece, it's a little inconvenient to have all of this with it. This one's pretty cool though, I think, the Mario. I did buy this a while back on eBay. It's like a set of little Zelda cards. Now they contain the same sort of little bits of information but it's got all the different Zelda amiibo data on there so you can scan those and I use those playing Breath of the Wild and they worked pretty well but they are not anything that you can edit or change that's just like a little set of course with this it's not a legit Nintendo product it works and it interacts with the consoles but you are cheating really by buying these and not the amiibos but if you think about the amount of space taken up with this thing and the amount of cards I've got in here you could see that that would be a massive amount of toys to try and store and use and display uh, if you were wanting to use them with the game. So enter the flask. What is it? Well, it's a way of storing the information that's on these sorts of tags or in these toys and being able to organize it within a little tiny computer. You connect up with a USB-C cable and you can organize all of your Amiibo files where you want them to be on your unit. It is self-powered. It's got a battery inside it. Um, so you just flick the switch on top and then it loads up very, very quick to load up. And the display screen is quite easy to read. You just simply scroll through all of the different Amiibos that you've got on there. So lots of different Metroid ones on there at the moment because I've been playing a lot of Metroid Dread, um, but the Amiibos that go with that game are very difficult to get hold of at the moment. I do want to get them, but I haven't got my hands on them yet. Which brings me on to how I've got them on there. So the software is also dead easy. You get yourself off to the Bloop Labs website and you scroll down to how does it work? and you load up the flask.run file. What that does is it opens up this page, which simply starts by telling you to connect your flask. So that's done with your USB-C cable, and then you click, and it will bring up a loading screen and this little window here saying that flask.run wants to pair. You wait for it to finish scanning, and as soon as it turns up, you tap on the item you want to pair, you click pair, and then it should load it all up on screen. And then it pops up, not only with the information about each one, but a cool little picture for each. And it's a really nice little touch and you can scroll through all the different ones that you've uploaded. Uh, in terms of actually adding tags, it's simply a case of clicking on add tag and then you navigate to your folders. And you can upload a tag directly to the flask or you can create a blank writable tag. OK, but with that, as I said there, you, you need a tag writer like an NFC capable phone. That's something I need to explore a little bit more in future. But for now, I've just gone the easy route and found files online. Obviously, I'm not going to talk in the video about how to find those, but you know how to use Google. So that should be straightforward enough. So let's look at what it is, what it isn't. Make sure you know what you're buying if you're thinking about getting one of these. What it doesn't do is read NFC tags and save them on there. OK, so you will need a separate NFC reader if you want to back up your own Amiibo. So the thing about that is that you could scan all of yours and keep your own little archive of the files and then copy those across onto it. Alternatively, if you haven't got the scanner, what you can do is find those so you can easily track down the files for the Amiibos that you own and then copy those across. What this does is it connects to the computer and the files can be written onto it stored on there and then used for when you want to access them. You simply scroll through with the buttons to the tag that you want and then you scan that on your console. So yeah, legally, it's a grey area. If you want to use it legally, 
you can take your existing toys that you bought and you paid for, you can scan those files on a separate file reader, save those on your computer, and then write them to the unit. Alternatively, you can find the files online, download them, and add them all on there. Either way, it's a very, very convenient way of having access to lots and lots of different Amiibos all in one space. It's portable, so it's easy to take around with you. I mean, that makes sense when you're using it with consoles like the Switch or the 3DS to have something that's easy to carry around without getting in the way. The interface is super simple. You've got three buttons. Your left one moves left, your right one moves right, scrolling through your different ones. Text is really easy to read. The middle button is simply if you want to delete them, so you can delete the tag or you can exit the menu. And that is it, really. So for an example, let's take a look at Metroid Dread on the Nintendo Switch. Now there's a few different amiibos that work with that, with various different features. We're gonna check out the Emmy. So the Emmy amiibo can be used to top up your ammo on a daily basis. So if you're running a bit low, you can scan it and it brings it up to full. There's also the Samus amiibo, which can top up your energy. So it's quite a handy little feature. So to access that from in here, you just press the minus button, you go to the amiibo menu, and it just says to touch the amiibo to the NFC touch point. Now on the Switch Lite, that's the joystick over here, so this little scanner goes on there and it detects it. it says replenished 15 missiles accept so that's quite nice and handy as you can see it worked really well it read it straight away really easy to use size wise compared to it if you're transporting one of these round transporting one of those with it is quite easy so that's it that was the flask it's a really really cool little item nice idea Beautifully executed, definitely something that I'm glad I supported. They are coming back in stock soon. You can go to the Blue Blabs website and you can sign up for email notifications when they are back in stock. So if you fancy one, go and get in touch with them. In the meantime, um, well, this shed is all over the place at the moment. I'm doing a bit of remodeling. I've got loads of different projects on at the moment. So hopefully more videos coming soon. So if you enjoyed that, you might want to check out my other videos where I'm looking at all sorts of different games, hardware, modifying, things like that. If that's the kind of thing you like, go and take a look, subscribe. Leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.